Rain tonight. This is what has Saturday traffic looking like rush hour on the Mass Pike. The Comav Bridge project is in high gear. And Red Sox fans are being encouraged to take the T tonight to and from Fenway. With lane closures in effect, traffic is crawling along the pike, and it will only get worse by the time Monday comes around. WBZ's Paul Burton talks with MassDOT about the expected impact. Demolition, detours, and delays. The Comav Bridge Replacement Project is now underway, and its impact is obvious. On Saturday, excavators, loaders, and dump trucks were moving at rapid pace, but cars were at a standstill on the Mass Pike eastbound, where traffic is down to one lane under the BU Bridge. It's been a problem. <laughs> it's a big problem. But one that was predicted by acting Massachusetts Department of Transportation Director Jonathan Gulliver. This is a bridge that has every mode of transportation on it, whether it's bike Bicycles, pedestrians, uh, vehicular traffic, uh, the MBTA runs over it with the green line, and then underneath that you have both Amtrak, the commuter rail, and the turnpike. This is the impact that the Comav Bridge Project is having on eastbound travelers here on the Mass Pike. This is Saturday afternoon. Imagine what it will be like on Monday morning when people return back to work. Traffic backed up for miles. We've done some modeling and it is not good. You're, you're going to be looking at up to a 90 minute delay if you're coming into the city. So, again, as many people can flex their hours or go a different route or take a vacation as possible, that's going to be what's best for everybody. The project is also having an effect on businesses in the area, blocked off by all the construction, like Auto Pizza. But right now, it's, it's tough for our delivery drivers. 75% of our business is deliveries. And all this construction, all the rerouting. BU grad student Dustin Hickey says bikers and walkers are also making adjustments as police try and direct the flow of traffic to confuse drivers. I can't imagine. I don't, I don't drive much in the city, but it seems like it's going to be quite a mess. I mean, they're shutting down parts of the, the highway and stuff below. Phase one of this project will take about three weeks. The cost to replace the 50-year-old bridge is $82 million. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. You know it's bad when they say take a vacation. <laughs>